Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. I uh, hope you've had a good day. Do you know, one of the things that has surprised me most about doing the live stream has been some of the people who have connected with it. it. It's been amazing. Through this, I have connected or reconnected with people in my church, which is great. People in some of the churches that I've been part of in the past but also people that I know or have known from different places, some of them people that I thought I'd lost contact with. I've connected with friends and family, both locally and in different areas of the country and different parts of the world. And it's really special. I'm just loving the people who are sending me messages to let me know that they've been around and listening. In fact, it's been more than special, to be honest. It's been something that's really brought me joy in this, this lockdown season. So yesterday, I admitted to having had a bit of a grumpy day where um, I really wasn't managing all that well to be thankful for whatever life chose to, to throw my way. So this morning, when I had a bit of space, I spent some time sitting with, with that knowledge of having been grumpy yesterday wondering what had been going on under the surface was there a reason for the way that i was feeling and also asking god to show me anything that i needed to see in how i'd been feeling one of the things that i remembered as i sat there was an idea that came from a french jesuit priest back in the 18th century his name was jean pierre de Corsard just in case you should feel like looking him up and he talked about something called the sacrament of the present moment the idea was that every moment is holy and given by god and that if you accept that and are aware of that then you will meet god in that moment and i just love the idea that it's in living in the moment that we encounter God, that every moment, every time, every place is sacramental, it's holy. It's, uh, it's not an idea that's unique to Christianity. There's a popular Buddhist teacher, uh, I think he's called Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, apologies if I've pronounced that completely wrongly, but um, it was him, I believe, who said, when you're doing the washing up, do the washing up. And what he was saying in that statement is just to give your full attention to what you're doing in any given moment, to live in that moment, to give your whole attention to what's going on, because in that moment, that could be where you will find joy or the holy or however you care to put it. I think sometimes we tend to miss out on joy because we're not living in the moment. We're looking forward to what's coming next, which is not a bad thing in itself. Or we're looking back to something that's already happened that's been good. And we forget to give our full attention to what's going on here and now, whatever it is. Yesterday evening, after I'd done the live stream, my husband said, um, are you going for a run? Because I do that fairly often in the early evening, or at least I do since lockdown, it's a, a new habit. And to be honest, I was still feeling a little bit grumpy and I thought about saying no. But then something said to me, go on, do it. Just grab the moment, live in the moment and do it. So I went. Now, I can't say that run was a life-changing experience. But what happened was that my son realized that we were going and he decided to come with me. My husband hadn't been out that day, so he came on his bike because the state of his back won't let him run. And we went together, not very far, with a fair amount of laughter because I'm a pretty bad runner. But it was good. And I came back feeling less grumpy than I had done for most of yesterday. <laughs> so. I want to read you a poem this evening. It's about Easter, it's about joy, and maybe it's about not missing the moment. So 
This is by a guy called Stephen Cherry from a book called Barefoot Prayers. And it's called Joy. I have a sinking feeling that when I look back over my life from the distance of great years, or the moment when I know the crash will be fatal, or the seconds when the heart beats its own destruction, or stroke blanks the mind, or while watching the dread film of life as salt water, that on reflection, my life had a deficit of joy. The feeling comes not on the bad days, not on the days of hard work, straining effort, not on the days where compassion is stretched, nor even on the days of ordinary failure. It comes on the days of sunlight, the days of getting things right, on the days of deepest delight, on the days of clearest sight. Where does it come from, this demon of the sublime, this dangerous undercurrent of exaltation, this unbearable heaviness of soul? I see dogs running in the field. Why can't I run with them alive in the moment? I hear the sound of children at play and know that the abandon of playtime is in my past. The scent of sage comes powerfully as I crush the leaf, capturing me for a second, but releasing an unfocused longing. Warmed by the sun, my muscles relax and then immediately intense, tense just in case. Elusive, ungraspable joy, let me glimpse you once more, thoughtlessly, timelessly, catch me unawares and keep my busy mind at bay. Unpredictable, undemanding joy, let me dissolve into your abundant sufficiency, your limitless expansiveness, your eternal redemptive fullness. Limitless joy, release me from self-reflection, release me into easy joy. Release me into Easter joy, the joy of no tomorrow, where tomorrow is today. So I'm going to finish off with a very short prayer and ask God to help us to be people who enjoy the moment, whatever it is that that moment gives to us. And as ever at the end, if you'd like to make my prayer your prayer, then say message, whatever, and amen. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for all the joy that is on offer in this world, even in the strangeness of the world as it is at the moment. Help us to be people who look for the joy in every moment that comes our way. Help us to not look forward too much to what may come, not to look back with longing at what has been, but to truly enjoy what we have now. Amen. Thank you for listening. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye.